Hey guys, this is my new supply ship for uh, my space station. We're going to be docking, of course, as well. So, yeah, uh, turns out pretty well. Hey guys, so this is my supply ship that I'm going to be sending now to my space station. Nothing really much to say. Enjoy the trip. Gotta be a little careful with this build that I have here. I gotta keep it safe. I'm at full speed at the beginning of the chapter, so. throttle let's move up get that down there move ship Now we might be falling from the other side, but it doesn't matter, we're so high that at least we're gaining speed on the way down, so it's a good advantage to us. We'll spread faster and be better. So that's fine. Uh, I should have uh, made uh, the, uh, the boosters on the top part here instead of below, but all is well. At least we'll finish that off and then we're done. We should still be in our first time, which is perfect for our CSR. 
just gets less fuel. Uh, the next uh, build will actually won't have a cockpit, it'll just have a unmanned, because then I'll just send them back into orbit and burn up. It's like that, I have this debris, but this is still, you know, testing in progress for the dual kernel that kinds. There we go, orbit is reached. 30,000, how much we got here? 207, that's pretty high. That's fine. Switch that off now. For docking, it is very bloody easy. Find your target, click it. Click it. No, wait, that's us. No resupply ship center. There you go. No, not add maneuver. Set us target. God damn it. Never mind that. Okay. set as target and now you need to at least have an intersect so look if you have an intersect very close so for example I do have one very close by here so as long as you have an intersect very close that's all you need to do is just wait so and then I'm gonna look here and I do have one also pretty much with the orbit of my uh, of my station so what you're gonna do now is just wait you see the the nodes it says the distance between the two it means there's 498 kilometers between the two so and here we have 227 that's large so as long as uh, your orbits are for example my orbits below so it means I go faster it means sooner or later I'm gonna catch up so let's take a look at the intersect it's 274 we're gonna keep going around until we get a smaller orbit that's uh, as simple as that as you notice, every time you rotate, it changes, so you just wait until you get uh, the closest orbit, which is somewhere around here. You're going to see the orbits here, and you're going to see where it jumps. What you could do to speed this up is uh, make your orbit below the actual target, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. You see it's slowly changing. Distance now is 510. Five hundred and sixteen. It's not changing a lot, though. Hold on. No, no. Let's go one more time around. I'm gonna reduce the orbit of this because uh, it's not changing as I'd like it to. It is changing, but not as quickly. Because I am going out. It means I am slowing down in relation to the actual target. So to speed that up, I can just reduce the orbit here. There we go. SAS. I reduce this side, so they will meet. You see, they are getting closer, but who cares about that? We just get it similar. So now I'm pretty sure that somewhere along here is gonna be. See, it is pretty up. So what I can do is set maneuver, add maneuver. Hold on a second. Let's move away and add maneuver down. A little bit wide, a little bit more. It is intersecting it.
Here. Okay, that's perfect. We have... 13 seconds to deal with this burn. 13 seconds to deal with a 7 second burn. Damn it. Add a maneuver. Your thing is to get an intersect as close as possible while having a... There we go. Do we have it close? Here's a point of intersect. This is pretty as close as it'll get, I presume. Eight second burn. There we go. Six, five, four, three, two. One. Okay. Oh, it's the same shit. I did increase from the other side. Whatever, man. I give up. So let's just go around now. Now you're gonna keep looking at the intersects to get the smallest one. At the smallest location. So you know, obviously, the smallest location is where the two intersect. So once the orange or the purple or the pink, whatever. As you see now, it's a huge distance. It's 390 kilometers in comparison to... What is it? 760, so... I'm just gonna wait. It's gonna jump, it's gonna keep jumping. I'll come back when it gets there. I'm back, it's taking too damn long, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Decrease the orbit to get it closer. Come on. There we go. Shrink it down. Make sure it's always intersecting at one point. Any point. There you go. I pretty much mean the closest intersection point is here. So again, you just speed it up. Keep going. Until both any color switches to the closest point. That being anywhere on the actual thing. So all you're gonna do is wait to catch the closest point. I'm sure there's gotta be a quicker way to, to target the actual uh, object in space and then directly do it. But, uh, you know, the same thing when you're trying to catch with uh, the, the moon. You can rotate, make an orbit, and keep rotating until you hit it. Well, this is practically the same thing that we're doing here. This is, you can say, the a little uh, run-around method of getting things done. But it works, you know, it's a guarantee it always works, so it doesn't really matter. It works, it works. They're pretty far per turn. Let's see how they go. See, it's moving closer. It moved left. It means probably... Two, one, two, three, four more turns. So I'll be back in four turns. I'm back now. Uh, this is the final turn. As I presume the next turn it'll be it. The distance is now 335 kilometers. It means this turn and then one more and we're there. Because after this turn it'll jump very, very close to each other. Well, it should. That's what it should do. And in terms of what I was doing wrong, of course it was wrong. Because there you go. Look at the distance now. This is now is only 15.2 kilometers, which is perfect. Now, obviously, because of my orbit was going out and then back in, so I slow down outside and then I speed up back in. That's why it wasn't really doing its job. But uh, when the orbit's from inside, it speeds up the whole time, so I do catch up to it. So that was pretty obvious. I don't know why the hell I did it that way, but, you know, still learning, learning.
Okay, now what we're gonna do is, uh, as you see, it switches directly to uh, target. It means the speed in relation to your target. What you're gonna do is slow down in relation to your target to that zero. So you're gonna go for the yellow XC Schmexy and make sure you hit zero. Ignore the thing is gonna be jumping around. You need to slow down. And once you slow down in relation to the target, you're gonna speed towards it. And now look at the actual orbit it'll pretty much fix itself and now you're gonna look at the actual intersects 16.2 this one being obviously the closest so we have 14 hold on 8 I can't see because of the other one damn it 7 6 see, see the or orbit it's sort of fixing itself 6.1 5 5.1 4.2 2 2.2 2. and I'm gonna do the same thing there again I don't want to get the orbit because if I pushed it anymore I'd get the orbit out as you see the orbits already pushing to the side so I do want to don't want to get it out of the actual uh, you can say I don't know circle orbit of my space station I don't know the technical terms, I can't remember that shit, so I just understand it my way. I don't know if it makes any sense. Anyways, I'm going to break again in relation to the target, which obviously gets the target closer, as you see. And, uh, and then we're going to shoot towards the target. And look at the orbit, we're pretty much... already on the same orbit now if you get anywhere to three and a half kilometers and below that's excellent if you get anywhere below that you're good so here we go do we have any other one no that means it is the pink 2.9 2.7 2.2 2.3 0 1.5 okay that's fine as you see, that is that is fine. I'm going to get to that location now. And we are going to start our burns. Hold on, let me remove the SAS. Switch that. It is lagging. We are still a little bit far. Let's take a look at where we are. Slow down. Target should be... There it is. It's 1.6 kilometers away. So, what we're going to do is... We are traveling at... 8.8 uh, .8 meters. So, we're going to have to align to it. So, you see, uh, when we're going forward... The standard yellow circle, without the cross... You're going to accelerate away, a little bit away, because it's going to move to that location, so check this out. And see it's moving. And align it. Align it. And stop. Now, since we're aligned with it now, we're going still pretty fast. 25 kilometers an hour, which is fine. Now we're going to switch. And we're going to do the same thing here. But this time this thing works opposite. So if you if you accelerate up, you push the yellow thing down. If you accelerate below, you push it up. So the same principle works uh, this way. So of course, as we get closer, I'm going to start to slow down the opposite way while keeping myself leveled in relation to the actual spaceship. Okay, so keep that in mind as well. So 25 kilometers is fine. I'm going to start slowing down once I hit, let's say, I don't know, 300 meters. Again, always keep the yellow line in check with the pink one, yeah? So as you see, it is moving a little bit up. I am accelerating just a little bit. To keep the yellow in check in the center with the pink one, yeah? So keep that always in check. 500 meters. Still 19.8 kilometers. It's 90.8 meters per second. Which is fine, because we are still pretty far, it's 400 meters. 
Okay, 500 meters. Three hundred meters. Okay, now it's a little bit time to slow down, so we're gonna speed up a bit. Again, hold on. We don't want to veer off course. It's only two meters a second. It's not a big deal. So we push it back to its course, and zero point. Now let's take a look at the station. Where are we? Where are we? I think we're at one angle where we can't see to. Hold on a second. Targeted. Let's go back to target. Now we are approaching, but very slow. But unfortunately, I think because of the angle of the damn ship, 